Good evening, everyone. This is Dolores Cannon with the Metaphysical Hour. You can say Happy New Year. <laughs> we made it to 2014. We crossed that threshold. It really seems strange. I don't know where 2013 went to, but here we are in 2014. Yep. <laughs> we're live tonight. This is January the 3rd in the year 2014. And from the news, most of the United States is, are in the deep freeze, and they're really having problems. I just hope that many of them haven't lost their power anyway, because they said it's going to be dangerously cold over most of the United States to where it's going to be. Uh, you know, they don't even want to go out, because they said, uh, but they said five minutes, and any unexposed uh, part of your body will freeze. That's cold. That is very cold. Mm. Wow. So they said it's the coldest in 20 years anyway, but it more is coming on top of it. So we're right in the middle. So I don't know where the rest of you are, but I hope you're keeping warm tonight. That's the main thing. If you're in Australia, we know you're warm. <laughs> <laughs> that's where we just came from. And that's the only thing I missed about coming back is leaving the warm temperature. It was nice. <laughs> Everybody running around in their shorts and things. You come back here and it's cold. Yeah, our snow is coming in in one more day, so we don't know how much we're going to get. But it's that time of the year, and last year we didn't have anything, so every once in a while we get hit, too. Right. <laughs> okay. Well, um... Uh, I was trying to think of some things to talk about tonight, and there are some things I don't think we've ever mentioned on the air, so we're going we're gonna to just talk. And if anybody wants to call in, feel free to do it. You always welcome callers. Right. A lot of people say they don't call because they just want to listen. But you're all a part of this, too. So the toll-free number is one eight 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 six two seven. 6008 888-627-6008. <clears throat> and Julia, I was trying to think of what, some things that we have not mentioned on the air before. And we've talked a lot about them in our lectures, but I don't think we've ever talked about Game Board Earth. Oh. <laughs> you know. <laughs> it's bringing that one on me. I have to remember it. <laughs> yeah, she, okay. just, she just got here. <laughs> And we just as we were going on the air, because you, we've done that at a lot of uh, lectures where you're talking about, you know, coming in, not knowing the rules. And, right, right. And I have begin. to remember it, though. I have to, <laughs> I'm trying to think how do <laughs> we It's been a while since that. I've talked about it, but it'll come back. So. Okay. But the, the important thing to remember is Earth, you know, it's just a school. That's all it is. It's just a school that you're attending. And they've told me that Earth is the most Difficult planet to live on. The most, 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 most challenging, challenging. Challenging is the word that they use. Most challenging planet to live on in the universe because it's so dense and heavy. And uh, they said, well, they really said the word you don't like. They said we're the bottom feeders. You can't go any denser or lower than Earth. It's the lowest energy possible. But you said you don't like that word. I don't like the word bottom feeders because it implies that, you know, this is the dredge of society, that kind of thing. And I don't think that's how it's meant. It's meant that this is the densest of the dense of energies. Yes. So in that way, it's okay. It's the lowest energy that you can you know, That you can go to. Right. And I know we've had, I've had many, many clients when they go back in hypnosis and they're coming into Earth, especially if they're coming in for the first time, one of the three waves, uh, they don't know, they can't understand it because it's so dense and heavy to enter the human body. They really feel that, and uh, it, like, pulls them down. Mm -hmm. And then it's like walking in quicksand with um, uh, weighted boots or something. <laughs> it's, like, it's really hard to move mm -hmm. when you're used to flying around and zippity-zoop and, <laughs> and doing whatever you want. And... Yeah, and going anywhere you want. You don't want mm -hmm. to come here where everything is dense and heavy. But this being in the human body by itself is always a challenge because it is heavy. Yeah. But um, still, they did say that those who decide to come to Earth are greatly admired. 
they think you're very brave if you choose to come here because they know how difficult it's going to be. There's no other planet like this out there. Right. There's so many things we have here that they don't have in anywhere else in the universe. Right, but that's by design, and mm-hmm. that that goes to the game board. We are unique. Right. We really are. But uh, some of the things that make us unique... You know, when you're on the other side and you're planning to come to Earth, you make your plan of what you hope to accomplish. Now, you know, because of karma, because of this is a planet of free will, and here again, it's the only planet that has free will. Right. Exactly. Yeah, we're, we're but very... that will make sense when you understand game board Earth. <laughs> we are very unique in that way because we do have free will where most of the other planets don't. And I've had people go back to lifetimes on planets that don't have free will, and they can't wait to get out of there. It's a totally different way of living. But come to Earth, you've got free will, and you're making your plans to come, and you're what you hope to accomplish, because, you know, otherwise, if it was just all set, you'd be like a puppet. You wouldn't learn anything. So this, you make your plan of what you hope to accomplish, and you make your contracts with all the other people who are going to be the characters in this play, in this game, because everything is just an illusion anyway, and you have created it. we got a color already, <laughs> and we haven't even scratched the surface. Okay, go ahead. Hi, Dolores. It's a pleasure to finally connect with you. I listen to a lot of your programs. I really appreciate you and all that you've been doing for so many years. Um, My question is about the emotional body. Yes. Um, Being in this world, sometimes when we go through some of the changes and challenges, uh, it's not always easy to see where we might be holding ourselves back. Um, Is this just part of the process that we're in now, that uh, sometimes you just can't, seem to get a handle on the emotion? You just seem to feel everything? Or is there a way to connect more to spirit and have that inner guidance strengthened? Well, here again, we're one of the few planets that have these kind of emotions. Uh, Other planets have emotions, but not the range that we do. They will have some, and they will only experience them one at a time. They said, we are unique because we have such a range of emotions that we're going to from one to the other so fast. You can be happy, then you can be sad, and you can be uh, crying, and then you can be laughing, and you can be angry, you can be jealous, one after the other. Or sometimes all at the same time. (laughs) (laughs) And the other planets don't have that, and the ETs find it very interesting to watch us because of our range of emotions. But that is part of what we're here for, to learn those and learn how to control them, I guess. And well, now it, well, remember, it was said that, you know, on the spirit side, we have the the theory. We're learning all these things, but the, what we can learn much faster when we come into the earth plane because of the emotion. Yeah. That's what helps us to accelerate our learning. That's where the theory versus applicable, applicable hands-on kind of things, mm-hmm. and it's the emotions that really do that. Because on the other side, you go to schools over there, you can learn anything you want to learn. You can learn all about this. And then when you get ready to come back, you said, oh, that's not so hard. Love, hate, jealousy, I can handle that. But when you're in the human body, it's totally different. But you learn so much more by the hands-on. Right. And then part of it is, like like you said, it, it's to feel it. Um, I talk about this in Soul Speak, about it, but... We're, it's like we're taught as a society not to have our emotion, to be ashamed of our emotions, and we have to dumb down or numb ourselves out of our emotions. And you have that emotion there to learn from. So it's there for a reason. So you mm-hmm. want to go ahead and experience it and then learn from it. What is it trying to teach you? And so then you're embracing it and getting everything you can from it, and then you move on because in that process you're getting the bigger picture, what's going on, you're able to pull back, and get the full benefit from it. And then you can move forward. Like we said, Earth is unique, and it's the most challenging planet in the universe. You come to Earth to learn Mm -hmm. emotions and limitations. Correct. So that's why you're here. 
So you have to learn these things. Yeah, so you want to embrace your emotions. That's what so many of these like, oh, you know, I, I, to, to, to say I want to learn to control it, I don't. You don't want the emotion to control you, but I don't think we're here to control the emotions. I think we're here experience. to experience them and learn from them. Okay. Does that make yeah, any sense? I don't sense? have a problem with the emotions. <laughs> I, I allow my emotions, but sometimes it's like, oh, my gosh, what, you know, finding what is it trying to show me. Um, right. It does feel good when it does finally release, and you know that you just want to be in action, to be moving forward or slowing down or honoring where you are. Mm-hmm. as we're embracing more of who we are as we go forward. So yeah, I don't I, have a problem I, with the emotions. I think it's the embracing the fears yeah. that come well, with the emotions the and not always wanting to be in that blissful state, even though we do. We, you know, we want to be happy and, and fulfilling our our life by doing things that make us happy. I think yeah, the emotion keeps us stuck. Happen aren't happy. <laughs> so I was thinking, are you you learning? Learning mm-hmm. is not always happy experiences. Right. And oh, and I really appreciate your your take on that. Uh, it allows me to more embrace where I am and the emotion on top of that. So thank you very much. Okay, You're just welcome. Think mm-hmm. about it anyway. It makes sense. I think the biggest thing there is to allow ourselves to have emotions. I, I really think we're taught it's not okay to have emotions. We're supposed to. You know, especially men, be oh, yeah. and don't have emotions. You not cry or anything. Yeah. We wouldn't have tear ducts if we weren't supposed to cry. We wouldn't have. These are natural emotions, and mm-hmm. so we need, they're there for a reason. Yeah, and I think a lot of the problems, especially in the people that I see in my work, is they have been taught to suppress their emotions right. as a child. And it causes illnesses. <laughs> it causes so, illnesses, yeah. yes, and it's not good. No. So we've got to learn. It, the biggest thing is to embrace them. Don't be afraid of them. Embrace them, learn from them, see what they're trying to teach you, grow from them. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay, let's uh, go back to where we were. We were talking about this is an illusion, and we come in with our plan of what we hope to accomplish and what we want to do and um, the contracts of the other people that we have to work things out with because that's all it is is a school. But now you go ahead. You said the problem is, though, when we come in. No, you well, always say that. I don't Okay. That. <laughs> I, don't I don't remember how we did this. I don't these. see a problem. <laughs> because we uh, uh, we told this a lot of our lectures, and I thought it was time to t- tell it on the air. No, I usually uh, do this well, by myself. <laughs> we don't do a bounce back. <laughs> well, sometimes we do back and forth. But you see, when you come into Earth, then the veil of forgetfulness comes down. And you forget your plan. You yeah, forget I'll let you why tell you're it from here. Your direction, and I'll tell it from the other side, and then it okay. shows. It shows how all of these work. Okay, because you forget everything, because it's designed that way. And we again are the only planet where this happens. The ETs, when told us when they come in, they remember their plans, they remember their contracts, and they said, "We don't. We forget it all." We forget where we came from. We forget all of these things. So that's why they don't understand then that. They said, won't you remember you signed a contract? There's another one. So they don't forget. We do. Okay, who's there now? Hello? Hi. Hi, this is Bessie. I'm from Nashville. Hi, Bessie. And I've called in a couple of other times. Uh, the last time I called in, I, I mentioned something about... Um, ringing in my ears. I don't know if it has to do with the vibration change or what. And uh, I think Julia indicated you could just ask. It's a frequency it change. Stop, but yeah, but that doesn't work. So I'm wondering uh, if Julia has a take on what might be going on. Okay, so you've been going and up, 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 and raising vibration? I'm sorry? So you've been you've been doing things to raise your vibration, and the ringing has not stopped. Is that what you're saying? Right, exactly. It's just been the last several months, and so again, I, you know, I know that some people will call it the condition tinnitus or something, but I don't know is it that or is it? Do you get a feeling that it's something else? Yeah. Well, what have you been doing to raise your vibration? 
Well, just in my spiritual growth, just, uh, you know, I think I'm just becoming more enlightened. Mm hmm Okay. I need you to, you know, no, it's, this is what it is. It's just a calling for you to go higher. Um, you, there's mm-hmm. something, you're doing standard things. You're doing what you think is expected. So you need to do things for you. Um, oh. And, and it's about your thoughts. And it's how you... Right. Yeah, and so it's your thoughts. It's you've got to raise those thoughts, and, it, and it's it's really simple. Just up, up, up. I am God. You have a problem with I am God, don't you? Oh uh, well, I don't know. Maybe I do. <laughs> I never yeah, you have about a problem it. with that. That is just what, that's what just came through. You have a problem with that. So um, that's what it's calling you to accept your godhood. Uh, oh, get where? Yeah, you you need. Oh, yeah, you have an issue with that. <laughs> You have an issue with your power. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. that's interesting. Yeah. Um, okay. And all of this, by raising your vibration, stepping into your godhood, um, see, that opens mm-hmm. up a whole new world for you, and that's, that's who you really are. And, yeah, that's where your issue is. Boy, it's right mm-hmm. here, too. So you what have a affirmation do you, you suggest again? Pardon? What type of, uh, or what affirmations would you suggest? Uh, you just have to believe it and feel it. And I'm feeling it, yeah, so you're saying about talking, it's in your voice. Uh, you haven't, your block is in your uh, throat chakra. Because um, I'm oh, feeling absolutely. it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, absolutely. That doesn't surprise yeah, me. Yeah, I'm feeling it. I can feel uh-huh. it. <laughs> so, um, you, um, and it may be, it. well, this has to do with saying the right things and doing the right things. It's about people, what they expect of you and stuff like that. Don't, it's none of that. Absolutely. Don't, yeah. It's Absolutely. just okay. for yourself. Okay, well, that's very helpful information. I truly appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Thank you Wonderful. so much. Wonderful. Thank you. And happy <laughs> New Year. Okay. Happy New Bye-bye. Year. Bye-bye. I don't know where this comes from when it happens. I mean, I do know where it comes from. Well, that's so cool when it happens like that. <laughs> yeah, she gets these things that just come on, so we just say uh, say them anyway. Yeah, I just do it, and all of a sudden my throat was just all, Whoa. I blocked <laughs> Okay, up. this is where it is. It's where it is, okay. <laughs> but there's so many people that don't understand that we are all God. That's very, mm-hmm. you know, we've been taught by the churches, you can't say that, right. that I am God. Right. But we are. We're all a part of God. i got to shake that energy out. It's, it's, still, it's, still, it's still there. <laughs> but see, once you acknowledge that, then uh, you can do anything, absolutely anything. But that's what she means, raise the vibrations to to that level. Yeah, and um, usually just thinking lighter thoughts, I am God, up, 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 things like that is enough. But if you have a contradicting belief, then that's going to keep it down here. So that ringing, it's just it's saying, come on, come on, come on, let's do it. You've got to come higher. So um, it's just, you got to believe it. you got to do it and believe it. Uh-huh. Yeah. So that's just, it's, it's all in the thoughts, what your thoughts are. See, it's, it's not just lip service, you know, just exactly. saying things. Mm-hmm. You have to really believe it where it's coming from. Yeah. Otherwise, anybody can say affirmations, and it doesn't matter if they don't really believe it. Yeah, they're saying we've had too much, too much affirmation stuff. It doesn't, cause, so we're, so it's gotten to where it's, it's old hat, and people just, okay, what do I need to say? That doesn't do it. No, it's what do you need to be? <laughs> That's what gets the job done. Mm-hmm. Does that make sense no. to you? She's, she's gone. She's, she's gone. Yeah, she she was she said thank you and she left. Okay, I didn't know she left. <laughs> yeah. Okay, but anyway, I'm just trying to figure out where we were. Uh, we come in, we forget. Right. We forget, and we're the only planet that where we forget our plans. That's why it make, makes it so difficult to be here. Yeah. We think we're all alone, all by ourselves, trying to you know make it make it work, and we don't realize we're not alone. But uh, you want to pick it up there about them? I said the. Uh, I can start from where I start. I said okay, you can you say are. your version, then I'll come in with this, and they two tie together. Yeah, they do tie mm-hmm. together. I mean, usually we just smooth right into it in a lecture. <laughs> no, I just I just do this part by myself. That's what I'm saying. Okay. 
But, yeah, you come in with these plans, but then we forget everything. I asked them one time, wouldn't it be easier if we could remember why we're here, if we could remember our plan, remember our contracts with other people in our past lives? They said, no, it wouldn't be a test if you knew the answers. Correct. And see, that's where you can look at it as a test, dum, 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 that kind of a thing, or when I'm, it's a game. Yeah, no, it's a game. It's a game. And so it wouldn't be a game if you knew the answers. Yeah. See, you'd be like, you're cheating. So see, you can look at it that way, too, and it'll make more sense in a minute. Okay. What we've said is this is the most challenging planet. Densest. The most challenging. Just stop there. I'm giving the lecture now. (laughs) The most challenging planet of all the planets in this universe to live in or live on. Mm -hmm. And then this is the most challenging universe of all the universes to live in or live on. So right there, it's telling you there's something very special about this planet. Mm -hmm. And that's by design. Mm -hmm. It's not, it didn't happen by fluke or anything. Now that came, and and I keep going back trying to remember where all this came from. That statement right there came from Julia Hansen, who wrote, she's one of our authors, and she wrote um, uh, Awakening to Your Creation. And I don't remember how the rest of this came in. Because a lot of times, well, that's just it. You know, if you receive information, if you channel it or whatever, you don't know where it came from. You don't always know when it came. I don't <laughs> remember where there. half of my stuff came from. Right. And so I, but I remember that statement. And then all of this just kind of attached itself later to that statement. So it's like it's by design. Okay. When you look, then you take it back to here we are. Um, That's where I like to say compare this to uh, the games. And we have a lot of people that love to play games out there, the video games, the different kinds of games. Mm -hmm. Um, And you look, okay, when you have completed, like, these video games, and I don't play them because they make me nervous. There's too much stuff happening. The computer games. Any of them. I just don't. When you have to have your little guy, you know, getting things and knocking people over and get, they have to do so many things it makes me nervous. There's stuff coming out from every direction and it just makes me nervous. Um, but the idea is you go through a level and you're getting um, skills and talents and things and your your object of the game is to complete it without being killed. <laughs> okay? Yeah, okay? And it's like you have different things trying to kill you and but all the while you're gaining more more things. I don't like that it's a killing thing, but, yeah, but, but let's you're just gaining look at it. More skills you're or... gaining more skills and talents, abilities. You get better as you keep going. And then when you finish one, you, you it's in levels, and you finish a level, and then you go to the next level, and the le- next level is always more challenging. And that's just how it works because you, we always want something more challenging. Well, we get bored with it's exactly. too easy. And then when you finish that game, um, then you want to go to another game, usually something more challenging. Or you may go to something the same, but you're going to get tired of that if you keep going to something that's no more challenging. Usually we want to challenge ourselves. Okay, so I like to take that over to we are great and powerful beings. We're out here creating universes. This is who we are. We're out, like I said, zipping around doing things. Bam, we have this. Bam, we have that. Just thought of the mind and we create things. And we equate ourselves with these these gamers. You know, you get bored, you want something more challenging. We've done all these things. We've gotten ourselves to master creators. And now then it's like, okay, when you have when you have done, let's say we've done all the games out there. We've played them all. We've we've mastered them all. We are master gamers. Well then what do you do? You got to create. You know, you're gonna you're creating, so you're gonna create something now. Mm-hmm. So you're probably gonna create a game mm-hmm. that would be the most challenging thing you could ever imagine. Well, that's what we did. We created what I call Game Board Earth. We created this playground, this game, where everything this is a challenge. So first of all, it was like um, I'm gonna have to go from memory how I did this. Um, the first was, what's one of the first things you want to know when you're playing a game? Mm-hmm. What are the rules? Yeah, the rules. What are the rules of the game? 
That, and I'm a major rule follower, so I want to know. That's the very first thing I want to know. What are the rules of this game? And I don't like games where you make up the rules. I just because that's your security are those rules. Yeah. <laughs> but um, but that's just it. This so we have this game board has no rules, <laughs> and it is kind of when you make it up as you go. You you do the rules. Oh, there are only few things that are there. Um, it has free will, and that that's where anybody can come in and do whatever they want. That free will. And then, what was the other one? Um, so you have, there are no rules, and any, they can come in and do anything they want. That's where everybody's making their own plans, and then they kind of, you know, they're trying to work things out. But you all have free will to do it however you want. So your plans may not always work. Mm-hmm. And that's where you adapt as you go. And then there was a third thing. It's not coming to me right now. It'll probably but pop in in will. a minute. And so here we are, we're in these, oh, the other thing is that, that we forgot. That was it. Yeah. The veil came down. So that was our third thing that we wanted to do. I mean, only masters would do that, create a game that's so challenging. We had, that was the other thing. We had to put ourselves in a very dense place. We created this game board that's like quicksand to walk around in. We're used to flying, and here we are now in this very, very dense environment that's very hard to move in. And then we make the... Uh, uh, the no, you know, the rules. There are no rules. Then we make the, you know, the free will zone, and then we have the veil come down where we forget. We forget the whole thing. We forget that it's a game. We forget who we are. We forget that we created this game. We forget it all. We forget where we came from. We forget the whole thing, and then our objective is remember to get to that end of that game. Well. It's just like the others. You've got levels. You've got things you're just working through, and you're gaining things as you go and working Which yourself through. explains why a lot of people don't want to be here. They don't like it here. Mm-hmm. They know there's something more. They know there's something they should be doing, but it's because they forgot. They forgot their mission. They exactly. forgot their Exactly. Well, and then let's plan. throw it in. I mean, we knew when we created this game that in the middle of this game or part where somewhere in, the, in this game, the whole thing was going to raise dimensions. I mean, <laughs> we're masters. Look what we did. And that's, I, I like it. it. It makes more sense to call it a game than to call it a test or to call it um, some of the other things that put people into like, well, I've got to get this right and i got it. It's a game. Yeah, because when I talk about it, it definitely is a school, too. There's two ways of well, looking you're, at it. you're learning all the while. I mean, yeah. that's why we created it this way, so we would learn. So in a school, you do have tests and challenges. But those it's would challenges. be part of the game. I would, exactly. They're challenges. They're experiences. They're okay. things like that. But the whole objective is to remember. As soon as you remember it's a game, that shifts everything. It changes the whole thing because you get a whole different perspective on it. And you you don't have to get so... I mean, you want to embrace, like we were talking about the emotions earlier, because that's how we learn. We want to embrace these things. But if we can keep that that more objective perspective on it, we 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 can see the forest instead of just being huddled in the trees and not knowing what's going on. There's so, a lot of people feel like what they doing here, and none of it makes any sense. Yeah, but if you can pull your, pull back like that, it's just a game. I'm doing these things, and I'm. You can probably actually more accurately see what you're doing. You may have been running in circles, and now maybe it's time to go through that maze and get on mm-hmm. on the road here. So uh, it, it main thing is it helps give you perspective. And I didn't do a very good job explaining it because you popped it on me. I wasn't prepared. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just thought about it. What are we going to uh, talk about tonight? Right. Um, but that, uh, people, uh, we need to understand who we are. We are great and powerful beings. That was the other thing is uh, what Julia Hansen said was, you know, this is the densest planet or in the, in the most challenging planet and everything. And in order to come here, to step foot on this planet, you had to be a master manifester. Nobody less could come here. You couldn't handle it. So right there, that's why I always had a problem with the bottom feeders, because you had to be a master to come here. But and the see, bottom feeder means where it's the densest, the heaviest. Correct. But see, that makes sense when you look at it as, it's master manifestors that create that they they manifested this game. <laughs> See, so of course only those people would be the ones coming here to play this game. Mm-hmm. Well, they told me that the most important uh, lesson you have to learn 
on earth, the most important thing you have to learn to graduate, so to speak, to move on, if you think of it as a school, the most important lesson you have to learn is how to manipulate energy. Everything is energy. So when you say you have to learn how to manipulate energy, usually the audience looks at me and say, what do you mean? Now, what do you mean? think I mean when I say you have to manipulate energy? It means you have to learn to create. But that's all it is. Everything is energy, and it just means to learn how to use that and move it and mold it, change the energy to create what you want. I think just remembering, they're not, they're, I started to say realizing, but they said no, it's remembering, because we already, we all know this already. So it's just remembering mm-hmm. that it is energy. And look at things as energy. Uh, that will help, I mean, then you know what to do with it. Well, because, I keep trying to put other words in there, and they're, shift, <laughs> they're shoving these other words uh-huh. in there, so... Because everything is energy, and that's why uh, people make it so complicated, but material things are the easiest things to create because it is just energy. And we make it so hard on ourselves, but we can do it and once we realize the power of our own mind. Yeah, they're, boy, they're, they're really, there must be, the audience tonight must be this, this play, in this place. It's all about remembering. It's not about, you don't have to convince anybody. They just need to remember. They already know this. They just need to remember. Mm-hmm. And like what but you we said, came in, we forgot. Yeah, but, but the, the audience here is not, it's like, goodness. <laughs> <laughs> no, Whatever they're saying. They're, they're saying, we just need, we need to go, we need to knock, knock it up a few notches and, and talk to them as beings that are right there and ready to remember. They, what they're saying is it's all in that perspective, like we were saying just a minute ago. Just pull back and see everything as its energy, and you will know what to do. <laughs> so this is wild, and I, they keep showing me the pictures. It's really cool because as soon as you can see everything in its energy form, then you can start moving it with Playing your with energy. It. Exactly. You can start. They're just showing moving it. Um, I keep wanting to put another word in there, but they're saying, no, well, you're going to move it. <laughs> so, What's the picture they're showing you then of what it looks like? It's very cool. You just pull back, and it's like I keep looking at like a, a just a scene here, just from a higher level, like you're above the trees, you're above it, and all of a sudden the trees, and it's really interesting, I keep, they keep, there's a blue energy, it's very wavy on the trees. Um, it's just showing things in, in their energetic form as these wisps, you know, of energy. And so, like, as, as you see that, then you're able to kind of influence it with your, that, that's an interesting word, influence it with your energy. Mm. So you're able to come, see, I, I, no, I know you can't see what I'm doing right now, but it's like they're showing me, it's like your hands, all these things are moving, and then that will also move that energy. It's so, like she's playing with energy yeah. and moving it right. with her hands. So it's something... I don't know who's out there that's needing this. Somebody's out here. I don't know if it's several, at least one person. There's some, this is this is um, cool because it's it's saying to we just need to remember. It's it's like don't talk on this one level because they're all above that. We need to knock it up several notches. We're finding that out now all over the world when we go and give lectures. Everybody have moved beyond the ordinary. Because we are evolving. That's, yeah, the, that's the shift. We have shifted and we're evolving. <laughs> I can see the big difference in the audiences we lecture to now in the right. classes than I would even 10 years ago. Absolutely. Uh, well, a lot of them have gotten older. Now they're not kids anymore. They're No, but even the kids. No, we have more kids. Well, not little kids, but... Uh, in their 20s. We yeah. A lot more 20. It used to be our audiences were 40 and 50. Now, majority is 20 and 30s. Yeah, but I'm thinking of kids as little kids. But, yeah, but even 10 years ago, these people would have been children, and they wouldn't have got it. So that's the difference in what we're talking to our audiences now and what we were back then. I can see a big change, that they're getting it, they're understanding it. Oh, they're beyond a lot of <laughs> it's just they're just they're just part of the choir, and they're just happy to be in an area that saying what they know. Mm-hmm. And they understand it. Yeah. They're getting it. No, they really, they're wanting more. Mm-hmm. 
Because used to be there was a lot of things I wouldn't talk about in a lecture because I thought it would go over their head. It's convoluted universe material. But now when I give a lecture, even in these countries, China, Japan, everywhere we go, they ask these questions mm -hmm. so they can understand it. Yes, that's what I've said. We, we are now, we have the concept. Where before we didn't have the concepts in our mind <coughs> to understand these things, we do. We have more concepts. There's still a lot of things we don't have the concepts for, but we have more concepts than we did five years ago, ten years ago, definitely 20 years ago. Well, the Internet has really helped a lot. Because people are saying they just discovered me, and it has to do with the Internet. Right. Well, or it's timing. It's when it's right. It's time for them to know about you. They, about, they're, they're on a journey of their own. And, yeah, and but it's whenever it's time, many right. of them have written us that they've, they've done a lot of studying into metaphysics, reading a lot of books. It's like all of a sudden, this is what they need. And more of them are, co are coming into that, and that's why they're discovering our work. But um, I said, I haven't been hiding. I've been doing this work for 45 years, but it's now coming to the point where it's mainstream, I guess you would say. That's the shift. The shift, the shift. <laughs> we definitely. were just talking about that before the show started with Don, and it was like, like he said, he's there, but he talks to you, they see it. But there's sometimes we get asked in lectures. People say, "I don't see it. I don't. I don't. I don't know what you're talking about." And it's just a matter of looking. You can see it like that. That's part of the shift. We have concepts that we didn't have before. Somebody might say, "Well, that's just us growing and evolving." Okay, that's that's a shift too. Mm -hmm. I mean, you'll see things that never would have in a million years happened before, and they're happening now. That's it, shift. Yeah, even in China, the the class in the lectures they'd say, "Well, we feel." We know something is happening, right? They and they can really tell it. So if it's happening all over the world, everywhere we go, right? Uh, somebody there? Hello? Yes. Hi. Hi, Dolores and Julia. My name is Neva from California, and I'm really enjoying this talk. This is um, the first time that I listened to your show. I just found out about it um, a couple of days ago. Oh, wonderful! And um, Dolores, I just want to say I read a few of you a few of your books, and it really helped me with my practice. And I can't wait to come and take your past life regression level one class. Wonderful. Uh, it's not on your website. Um, when are you going to have that class? Oh. Um, well, we just came back from China, <laughs> Japan, Australia. <laughs> well, we're shifting, we're shifting how we're doing. Um, she's only going to have one live level one class, and that will be in Arkansas in September. We're finalizing the details for that. We'll have it on the website very soon, if it's not already. I thought it was on there, but I guess it's not. The but, otherwise, we're we're doing the online class. We're really pushing that because we've been guided uh, that she to, for her to back off of the live classes and use technology uh, because there's so many other things that she has got to be doing. And they said, you have the technology, use it. She doesn't need to be doing all of this live herself. Well, the so. traveling, you know, the long flights, you know, 13 hours on a plane, and we've been going all over the world. We've been doing the classes now for 22 years. No, no, uh, no. 2002 right. we started. So that years. would be 11 yeah. years we've been doing the live classes. And it has been a lot of work traveling all over the world. And we have classes now of 100 people, so it's a lot of people to teach. And... Uh, so now we decided, yeah, let the we have it online. We've been doing that now for over a year. No, it's been well, almost a year. It's not quite a year yet. On the online classes, but if you want to come to the live one, it's here in Arkansas. And be in September. Uh huh. Uh, so and I you, saw your online class, but I really want to come there in person to be in your presence. So I will get my ass out for um, September, and um, can't wait to come out there. Wonderful. We'll have it on there soon if we don't already, and you can go ahead and sign up for it as soon as we get it on there. We may have to put a cap on it to keep it from getting too big, but uh, they've been running about 100 people. <laughs> a little over 100. Yeah. Well, that'll be wonderful. That'll be great to see you. And they're really valuable because people all over the world are learning it. It's very easy. It's very simple. And they're having wonderful results with it everywhere. Well, I'm excited. Can I ask you one more question? Sure. Yeah. Um, 
So I've been wanting to open up my intuition more. I have decent amount of intuition, but I feel it needs to be more. I feel that it's a, there's a block somewhere. Would you be able to shed some light on how I can be more intuitive? Well, you, everybody is has intuition. You just listen to your gut instincts, your gut feelings. But she's she's listening for them to tell her. <laughs> I'm working on tapping into you. Yeah. Okay. What are you doing currently? Uh, use if you just talk I to am, me, I'll see what I get. I am a hypnotherapist, actually. Mm-hmm. Okay, keep. What are you doing and currently? I do, on I your do listen to intuition, um, but I want to develop a photo where I can start to read people more. I can start to get more information. Okay, well, they're just reminding me that it's all about acknowledgement. So it's really important for you to acknowledge what you already have, what you're already doing, and to be you know thankful for that, but acknowledge it. And as you do that, then that opens. Um, I mean, because there's more things happening that you aren't even acknowledging. Um, so when they do, and they're, they're, they're little things. Oh, okay. Um, they're little things. Sometimes you just know things. And that's an, that's an ability. And people write it off. Um, that's an ability. And so anytime something happens that is intuition or that is an ability, because um, intuition is just one of the abilities, Okay. You what I'm hearing. You want to develop your abilities more, so it, it's just a matter of opening up to more of them. So as they start happening, acknowledge them, and when you do that, that opens the the channel for it. It's like an opening, and it's a muscle that you're building. And as you you acknowledge it, then it opens it more and allows more to come through. But if you're not even recognizing the things that you have, and that's what I'm getting, is you have other things happening, and you're not even recognizing them to be able to acknowledge them. So, and one of them, is a major one, is knowing. Yeah, that's what it is. It's knowing. Because uh, yeah. you're always <laughs> saying some people expect it to be different. Yeah, you want it to look like it's like you have a box around it. Well, it's, I'm supposed to be able to see things or I'm supposed to be able to no, do this thing because that's what this person does. They see things, so I don't, I can't do that. So that means I don't have an ability or I don't, you know. Or I don't hear things. Right. So it's, Acknowledge what, because there's a probably an unlimited number of ways that you can receive information. It's all about receiving information, and everybody receives it differently. Just like in the conscious state, we get things differently. We understand things differently. It's the same in that state. You understand or you get your information in different ways. And as long as you're trying to go to compare it to someone else, it's not going to work because yours is going to be different. So, um, like I've said, I see visuals, I hear um, voices, if you want to call it that, I hear them, I feel energy, and I know that I know that I know. So that's four of who knows how many ways to get information. Um, and, but they're not, you know, there's a lot of different ways. I, that's not, I don't have a trademark on any of them. I mean, that's just ways coming in. Now, and another these, way. These uh, abilities are coming back. Absolutely. People are finding out they have them. Right, and that's part of it. Is you just have to, you. That's it's like it's like this something I have to go work on. No, this stuff happens so it's easy. You don't have to do any work. It's just happening. You just have to acknowledge that it's there, and then it'll get stronger, and you trust it, and it just gets stronger and stronger, and it just keeps happening like that woman a while ago. I mean, I love it when that happens because that just confirms for me some more. It's like it's it's so cool. It's like, oh, my God, how does that happen? I, well, I know how it happens, but I still get excited about it that it happens, you know. Uh, um, the other thing is, do you get goosebumps? You know what we call those goosebumps? Hello? Hello? Um, um, not really. I get a sense of knowing, and when I do energy healing, I feel energy in my body. Okay, wonderful, wonderful. Um, do you ever get, you don't ever get those goosebumps? Um, or, not goosebumps, no. Them. Okay, because, well, there's somebody out there that needs to hear this. Not because, that I'm aware of. <laughs> okay, because when those come on you, that's an ability. And a lot of people just, oh, I just got the goosebumps. No, that's an ability because every time you you 
get them, it means whatever you just heard or whatever you just said is truth. So I like to call them truth bumps. So, um, but if you don't get them, then that, but some people, a lot of people just, they don't even uh, acknowledge them as anything, uh, but they are. They're an ability, and everybody, most everybody, except you, uh, gets goosebumps. <laughs> so, you probably do, we just don't know exactly yeah. what we're talking you'll, about. You'll probably get them now. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe she's associating with I get with urges, and I listen to them. Mm-hmm. On the what? I'm sorry. I get urges, like an urge to do yes, something, yes. an urge to listen to something. Yeah, well, it looks so like I, you've got a lot I of things happening. So listen just, to them? Yeah. Just listen to them, yeah. It sounds like you have a lot of things happening. Just just keep acknowledging them and know that it's always there, and it'll just get stronger and stronger. So that's how it happens. It's nothing that you have to do any work for. I think that's that's just something, that's an earth thing. That's a man thing that says, well, we have to do all these things to make this happen. Uh-uh, it's going to happen. Have classes, you know, <laughs> to develop your psychic abilities yeah. and stuff mm-hmm. like that. Yeah, it's going to just happen because that's where we are. And and it's just a matter of acknowledging it, and it gets stronger. But, you know, if you ask a question, listen for the first thing that comes into your mind, and that's your answer. Well, she says she gets knowings, and she uh, it sounds like she's got great stuff happening. Yeah, but don't so. just say, well... I'm making that up. Acknowledge that it's an answer. Then it will she's, get um, stronger. She's beyond that. Okay. She's beyond that. So I don't think you need to go that base. That's what I'm saying. See, we're there. Our audience is above that. So she's already getting a lot of things. Um, but a lot of people doubt it. Right. So I'm not sure what you you just want to build it more. Is that what you're saying? Because you're you're doing great. Yeah, I want to. Yeah, I, I want to be. Yet yeah, I do want it to be um, stronger. I guess. Acknowledging it, I really like that. I really appreciate that answer is because that gives me something concrete that I can do now is to acknowledge, to pay attention and acknowledge all the little things that come through, not just the big thing, and right. pay attention to more what else is coming through. So that really helps. I do right. want to develop a photo um, so they're stronger so I can catch more of it. Yeah, it, it will but naturally that I like what you said, first. and like it just takes time to develop that awareness. Yeah. Absolutely. Was, yeah. It'll I happen think it's, on its, own. it's good if it happens slowly because otherwise you'd be overwhelmed. So it has to develop slowly. Yeah, but it's a matter of, um, yeah, it's going to happen on its own. You're doing the right things. Just, and then, like you said, that was your that may have been the only other thing you needed was the acknowledging. And then, uh, yeah, it's just going to do it on its own. You're doing the right stuff. You're, doing, you're developing grades. Mm-hmm. You'd be amazed how many people all over the world are doing this now. It's no longer considered weird or or kooky, you know. That's where we are. (laughs) Right. Well, I'm not saying that because we're all excited. I'm excited, and I'm I'm really excited. And I'm excited to come and meet you both in September. Wonderful. We're excited to meet you. What did you say your name was again? Thank you so much. Thank you. Did you say your name? I can't hear you. I can't hear you. I'm sorry. Did you say your name so I know who to watch for in September? Of course. My name is Mi Va from California. Wonderful. Well, I hope to see you then. <laughs> Great. I can't wait. Thank you, and I'll continue to listen to your show. Thank you both. Sure. Thank you. And just trust what you're getting. Okay, uh, another thing you were talking about with the Game Board Earth, you say sometimes you can see through it. Give that uh, that's, definition. Well, that's a different thing. That's a different thing, but uh, it's going to come in <laughs> because um, yeah. um, that, that's one of the latest things they've been giving me as an explanation for a lot of things. Yeah. Um, but it definitely it's a simultaneous time. <laughs> <laughs> and so that's where all the lives are happening. So here you go. You've got your game board, and you're moving around and doing all your pieces. Like a this. chess set or something. <clears throat> yeah, let's call it a chess set. If anybody's familiar, if they remember the Seth material. This was given in, I don't remember which book, but I was reading that stuff back in the 70s, <clears throat> early 80s. And it was so, this, is, this shows me, because I had such a hard time with those books. I did not have the concepts. I couldn't. He would give these wonderful visuals 
uh, examples and just trying to wrap my brain around it. And it was hard. I can only read a little bit and I have to digest it. It's probably like your convoluted books. Mm -hmm. And it was really, really hard. And the last visual I remember having from the book that um, was this was this game board, this transparent game board with all these levels on it. And I, actually, it maybe could could coincide with this, where it's showing the levels as you're working up the levels. Yeah. But it was showing that moves on a level up here affected move affected pieces down here. It's like they all are affecting each other. Because it's transparent, you can right. see through it. You can it. see through it, and so moves on different levels, different layers were affecting the other ones. So that goes to a theory I kept thinking would be ones like if you did affect some other life, would it affect here? And that they say yes. They all affect each other because they are all simultaneous and, and it does affect each other. Mm-hmm. But back then, oh my goodness, my brain couldn't. I, that, that's where I stopped reading the books. I couldn't I couldn't handle anymore in well, my poor little brain. <laughs> so. Well, that's why Jane Roberts with the Seth books was way ahead of her time. Way ahead. And it was very difficult to understand, yeah. and it had, had to happen more slowly. Right. But then, let's say, uh, in the early 2000s, I was... I. I came across one of the books again, and I thought, oh... Well, they have well. reprinted them now. Well, anyway, I, I just happened to run across one, and I thought, oh, boy, because my last thing I remembered, oh, it was really hard to read. And so this was one I hadn't read before, and I got it. I didn't have any problem at all. So that was showing how the brain had developed the concepts and where it didn't have a problem with it. So that's showing part of that evolution. How you evolved. No. Exactly. But that keeps coming up now, and a lot of things we're doing, they keep showing me that multidimensional game board. Mm-hmm. So it must have a very very big part to play. Like I said, it just came up in a class, and that's where they were showing, yes, things we do on Mm -hmm. this life do affect other lives. So it it all is very interrelated. Because that's what I say in the classes. The material I'm getting now for the Convoluted Universe series, I would never have understood 20, 30 years ago. When I first started writing my books, Mm -hmm. it would not have made any sense at all I would have just thrown it against the wall and say, I can't understand this, I can't do it. It's too overwhelming. But that's why in their wisdom, they don't give you too much of a download. They say they give you a little spoonful, digest this, then give you another spoonful and digest that until you you finally ready for the next step. Because some of the first things they gave me, I couldn't understand at all in the beginning. Right. And they didn't make a lot of sense. And I said, they're messing with my belief system. And I didn't like that. Well, and that was probably the first hurdle that had to be um, Yeah, You know, it was a belief system. You have to you have to throw it out the window. <laughs> I know, because if I thought I had all the information. I thought I knew all the rules about reincarnation. I thought I knew how it all worked. Then they threw me a... a concept I'd never heard of, and it was like, what do I do now? And then I thought if I didn't at least look at it and examine it, I was no better than the church that says, just do as we say and don't ask questions. Or no different than the church. Yeah, no different. (laughs) So anyway, then I began looking at these concepts and examining them, and they began to make sense. Then once I digested that little piece of information, they gave me a little more. So what I'm getting now doesn't blow my mind like it did back then. Well, and like I said, that's the, the evolution of your brain. I mean, really. Yeah, and we have to evolve, and it's taken this long to get to where we are now. So I can see how people out there are just beginning to take their baby steps and how some of these concepts are hard for them. Yeah, but, I mean, everybody's in all different places, so... Yeah, um, nobody's at the same level. We're all at the different levels, the different grades in the school. Different so, places. They're, 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 no, they're saying that that's not a very... They don't like that. I'm sorry. They're saying different places. They're saying places, so let's just call it different places of understanding. Okay. Um, to say level does not... that that That's giving... An incorrect connotation. I mean, okay. and, they're, and they're being very precise. It's like you have to be very precise with your words. So, okay, there you go. <laughs> but anyway, we're all at different places. Yes. 
So don't if somebody's below you, that doesn't no, mean anything. No, there's no below or, or above. Or, or there's, 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 that's take, what I'm saying. You can't do that. That's if what they're they don't taking do. baby <laughs> steps, at least they're on the path. Yeah. Everybody and, is where they are. Mm-hmm. So anyway, okay, now it's time to go again. All right, but this has been interesting. I don't think we have touched on this concept before. I doubt if we have. I think we've done a few little parts of it, but not the whole thing. Not the whole thing, because we've done it in lectures. All right, then. Time for us to leave, and those of you that are in the freezing temperatures, just try to stay warm. And uh, we'll see you again next week right back here. We're not going anywhere for a few weeks. All right, so good night, everyone, and thanks for listening. Make it great. You're the manifestors. If you enjoyed the show, check out more of our other videos, and be sure to subscribe and click the like button. Thank you for listening to the Metaphysical Hour with Dolores Cannon.